Today I want to open up with a bonus. I've made what I think is a pretty good video, and that's rare for me. But here, instead of opening up with some philosophical rant, I thought I would show some great research by this channel. I've shared his work before, Geomancy, and he went out and did some boots on the ground, and he shows us a bunch of cemeteries, actually. And I think what's so exciting about this research is we're constantly discovering the old world, everywhere. I always thought it was weird, the idea of a tomb, the idea that a pyramid could be a tomb. Seems like everything was always something religious or some burial site. Even President Garfield's tomb. Even our own early American figures having tombs, monuments, or basically just giant buildings seems excessive. But anyway, since this is an introductory bonus, I'll be quick and I encourage you to check out his video. So all this is a cemetery. Again, a burial site. As you can see here, it's a building. This one is absolutely beautiful. And having a similar theme. A similar theme to many buildings, including all the state capitals, the national capital. And I was talking to David recently and sharing the idea that these may be a representation for our realm somehow. Someone in the old world wanted to depict this building style over and over again. Big dome in the center with four domes surrounding it. Some type of tech, no doubt, but our realm realm is clearly a functional, planned, and conducive machine. Something with a function. And really interesting to see it even in a cemetery. And this video is great. I think this is a very important clue when looking into the past civilization, the old world, the names, the stories, and the architecture. They all have something to reveal. And I suggest you check out his video once again. But I just had to point you to this often underrated part of history. An area that most people don't visit, kind of seeming taboo. And something that I found really interesting was that this cemetery way back was the second most popular tourist attraction in North America. And I've never heard of it until I watched this video. And I could see why. I think there's a lot of clues that can be found in cemeteries. So that was my intro. I think this will tie in nicely with my video. But for now, I thank you for being here. God bless and welcome. Up until 1976, Lebanon was a Christian nation. Refugees were put in camps, and the camps grew into cities, and pretty soon the city camp took over the greater city. And now let's look at the ruins of Baalbek. Here we are in Baalbek. I do love making videos, but my energy changes. Maybe I get a little nervous, and the animals don't really like it. But if I stay calm, they're appeased. So anyway, here are the ruins of Baalbek, and we're told these are like 2,000 plus years old. Looking really good for 2,000. This is just one little part, and look how perfect. And back here we see Corinthian columns. I'm not sure if these are damaged. And everything is really big out here. You can't tell. This is one of the bigger ones. person would just be tiny. 2,000 years old. Looking great. Could fix up a little part and live in it. Easy. Really reminding me of the Winter Palace in China. Or China. And there was a lot more. We see arches way up here. Way up here. And just chunks of stone or concrete. And some of these columns have been busted. And it's a really nice story. Again, 2,000 years old. But I don't really want to focus on Baalbek today. Why is this so blurry? I just wanted to start here. Always a great starting point. And 
And these columns are more of a facade kind of column. I mean, compared to the last ones, crumbling a little bit. This looks like it's had some acid, something very corrosive poured over it, even hair or heat. And it seems like there would have been some statues up here. I could be wrong. And real quick, just some more ruins in Baalbek, a man hanging out here, enjoying the view. I would too. And this is all great. This is really famous. I mean, maybe not to the masses, but certainly in our community, this block. Just to give you a feel again for how anomalous this area is. But today I just want to focus on the columns. Here again, you can see some people and just scattered with blocks and columns over here as well on this side. And just a wasteland. What happened? So again, this is just fine. We see such things all over the Mediterranean all over. We see such things in Europe, of course. We even see such things in Moscow. Studio says I'm getting a little too excited. I don't know if you can hear her drinking. Really a serious drinking session. You know how cats are. They just sleep and when they snap out of it, it's like they have just been born. Well, anyway, could such ruins exist in America? There's two identical bulls. Chief usually drinks from one of them. Only one. And she drinks from both. So anyway, could these things exist in America? And again, they say these are 2,000 years old. But I think the flakiest part of our history is the timeline. Let's just accept it for now. First, we're going to jump to a place called the Windsor Ruins. <laughs> The Windsor Ruins are in Mississippi. This was supposed to be a cotton plantation, and we're told it caught fire, and these are the remains. Now these are interesting, seeming different in some ways. These appear to have a solid brick or a superior cement facading. And once again, you can't tell. Person is about as tall as my pointer. I'll stick some of those pictures in. And this is kind of remote and way over the top or a cotton plantation burned to the ground in 1890. I love the Windsor ruins and have made videos on it in the past and I think if I would have been shown these ruins in the third grade I would have made the connection but most people in America have not seen these or know they exist. Here you can see the location on the Mississippi River and that's fine but when we're told it was constructed by slaves in two years even the ruins in two years would be a great accomplishment. It simply doesn't make sense. This man was 30. A 30 year old has this kind of taste. In 1859. Well, it doesn't matter because he died shortly after it was complete. And here you can see a lady and her dog. And when you zoom in closer, it gets even more interesting. A sight I'd like to see in person. So in 1890, a fire started on the third floor when a guest dropped an ash from a cigarette into construction debris left by carpenters. It was all destroyed except for the columns and pieces of bone china. Well, let's not dwell on that. Next, we're gonna go to a place called the Holiday Park. Holiday Park is another discovery shared with me in a comment. I want to thank everybody who's been sharing in the new alt hist website. Really cool. Any of you can go and check it out. And that's what makes this research so fascinating. For a community, by a community. And here was this little obscure park that had actually been shut down for 20 years in Indiana. Now they've cleaned it up. Having a really strange backstory, but nonetheless just hiding out and it was people who grew up in this area who told me check out these ruins and no doubt now a lot of parts have been altered and shuffled around and without getting into it we're told this was moved from New York City it was part of a large building, and they moved it brick by brick and rebuilt it to look like ruins. And even today, they're still working on the ruins. Here we go. But there are many elements that lead me to believe that nothing has been moved here, only destroyed. And perhaps if we were playing Where Are We, one would not guess Indiana. 
but here it is the holiday park ruins and you can just imagine what this might have looked like and now we're gonna check out a place called the united states national arboretum The Arboretum is in Washington, D.C. All of these I will have talked about in past videos, except the last one. But right now, I think it belongs in this showcase. Absolutely beautiful Corinthian cap columns just sitting out here. And once again, we have the moving story. These were moved from the U.S. Capitol during a remodel and in a very early time period we're just moved out here not sure how many tons each one could possibly weigh maybe a hundred tons i'm just throwing that out we're told it was established the arboretum in 1927 so the ruins were established in 1927 by an act of congress it had nothing else to do in 1927 than to establish these ruins i first discovered these in a a YouTube video unrelated to our research or community just some guy doing boots on the ground and what he found is there were ruins all over this park they just stacked ruins I'd love to check that video out again I'll look for it almost hidden them in the brush and here I don't think you're moving something like this around not in 1927 arranging them perfectly and now it functions as a major center of botanical research really strange but you'll find that all the botanical parks are detracting all parks in general and that's history and actually they're not telling us that they moved them anymore unless I'm missing it and most of the searches that you do for this national arboretum detract you immediately for instance here you see it's all about the plants <laughs> And we don't care about the plants. I mean, really, of course I do. Without the plants and trees, this world would be pretty ugly. A concrete jungle. And here are the remains of a concrete jungle. Most of the trees are only 200 years old throughout this realm. Some exceptions, but not many. And here, even the ruins are exciting. People are more interested in the ruins than the trees. I mean, we take the trees for granted, but I think we take these ruins for granted as well. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. Next, we're going to look at a place called Capitol Park in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This was an awesome share by a channel called Our Melted Reality. You can see it here. And one of the better channels doing research into Our Melted Reality. And Melted is just a part of the bigger picture. But I believe it's an important one. But not the point today. Today I'm just lumping it into my little showcase of columns. And let's just recap. Baalbek, 2,000 years old. Windsor Ruins, 150 or so. Holiday Park, 100 plus or so. U.S. Arboretum, 1929. Very young. And now Capitol Park, Alabama. We're told this site was the site of the Capitol from 1826 to 1846. Burned in 1923. How interesting. Again, this time period is very exciting. Time period, 1800s and burning in 1923. And here we go. Here are the ruins. Now these are really strange columns. Again, a brick core and we see some superior cement facadage. And this type of column, I believe is called Ionic, as opposed to the Corinthian. And everything seems to be completely in ruins here, beyond ruins. Burned in 1923. It was built in 1826. So really, again, I regret not playing Where Are We? I mean, this whole video it would be perfect. This could be in Pompeii. I should have had Pompeii in this video. And more importantly, I've never heard of this site either. Really significant, considering we're told it's the site for the state capital, the former 
state capitol, just playing musical chairs, switching buildings, in what should be a very rough time period to get anything done. It's still rough. And here we have these ruins. The ruins of Capitol Park, really reminding me of a video I made on a place called Goa, India. It was really amazing to see these same style ruins in India. And here we can look at Mark's video, and I suggest you check it out. You'll see a lot more than a quick search will reveal. And this is a big deal. All of these sites are a big deal, in my opinion. All having suspicious historical narratives tied to them. And I think the evidence is self-explanatory, in complete contradiction with what we are told. Here is one, and it looks like the stairs have come after just a giant building. They've had to make new stairs, a new door, and this looks like a school, a high school. Really cool. Brick, all brick, clearly at one point a glorious building. Let's try to look at it from this side. I think this is the front, and they don't want us to look at this building. No, this is a restricted building. And we can see the traces of the old world everywhere. The gardens, the fountains, and in my opinion, oftentimes the industrial areas will have been some of the greatest old world sites repurposed, destroyed, and shipped off. But otherwise, it looks like this town has been pretty well sanitized. And all these cities would be worth having a look, as we're dealing with the potential area here. Here, a little city called Tar Bagatai. Here's some random monument. And here again, some random temples looking very oriental really temples everywhere in these massive buildings they're kind of the thing that we think of when we think of russia and this research essentially came out of this area i think because they recognized what they were seeing so anyway i thank you for joining me i love you all god bless and i'll see you next week